Valentine's Day is a special day for a lot of people, for they show their loved ones how they care about them. Some view Valentine's Day purely as another day for businesses to sell candy and flowers and cards. Well, both can be true. A look at history shows us that Valentine's Day gets its historical origins from St. Valentine, a Catholic priest in Rome in 3rd century AD. It is also believed that St. Valentine was Catholic Bishop Valentine of Terni, who was born in 226 AD and died in 270 AD. The first official St. Valentine's Day was declared on the 14th of February by Pope Galatius in 496, in memory of the third century martyred priest in Rome. One legend of St. Valentine holds that when Roman Emperor Claudius II decided that single men made better soldiers than those with wives and families, he outlawed marriage for young men. St. Valentine was imprisoned for marrying couples in secret so husbands wouldn't have to go to war, and also imprisoned for aiding Christians being persecuted by Claudius II in Rome. Both acts were considered serious crimes. When Valentine's actions were discovered, Claudius II ordered that he be put to death. Another legend holds that it was Bishop Valentine of Terni, who was the true namesake of the holiday, who was also put to death by Claudius II outside of Rome. Legend also holds that St. Valentine may have written the very first Valentine greeting. According to one legend, while he was imprisoned, he healed the jailer's blind daughter. And on the day of his execution, St. Valentine left the girl a note signed, Your Valentine, an expression that is still in use today. One thing to remember about that time of history was that it was not safe to celebrate your faith if you were Christian. It is well known that the Christian holiday of Easter was celebrated at that time of the year because it was also the same time as the Romans had the pagan celebration for Esther, the pagan goddess of fertility, hence why it is called Easter. When it comes to St. Valentine's Day, it so happens that St. Valentine was killed by Claudius II on February 14, 270 AD, and they commemorated the anniversary of Valentine's death. It is also possible that the Christian church may have decided to place St. Valentine's feast day in the middle of February in an effort to Christianize the pagan celebration of Lupercalia, which was a pagan festival celebrated between February 13th and 15th. In the late 5th century AD, Pope Galatius I eliminated the pagan celebration of Lupercalia and declared February 14th a day to celebrate the martyrdom of St. Valentine instead. Lupercalia was a pagan fertility festival which celebrated the founders of Rome, Romulus and Remus, who were twin brothers raised by a she-wolf, or Lupa. According to Roman legend, King Amulus ordered his twin nephews, Romulus and Remus, to be thrown into the Tiber River to drown in retribution for their mother's broken vow of celibacy. A servant took pity on them, however, and placed them inside a basket on the river instead. The river carried their basket and the twins downriver, where it became caught in the branches. The brothers were then rescued and cared for by a she-wolf in a den at the base of Palatine Hill, where Rome was eventually founded. The twins were later adopted by a shepherd and his wife, and learned their father's trade. After killing the uncle who had ordered their death, they found the cave den of the she-wolf who had nurtured them and named it Lupercal. It's thought Lupercalia took place to honor the she-wolf and please the Roman fertility god Lupercus. Lupercalia eventually became outlawed, seen as being unchristian, and Pope Galatius declared February 14th St. Valentine's Day. During the Middle Ages, it was commonly believed in France and England that February 14th was the beginning of birds mating season which added to the idea that the middle of Valentine's Day should be a day of romance. Even the English poet Geoffrey Chaucer wrote about St. Valentine's Day as a day of romantic celebration in his 1375 poem, Parliament of Fowls, writing, For this was sent on St. Valentine's Day, one every fowl cometh there to choose his mate. Valentine greetings were popular as far back as the Middle Ages, though written valentines didn't begin to appear until after 1400 AD. The oldest known valentine still in existence today was a poem written in 1415 AD by Charles, Duke of Orleans, to his wife while he was imprisoned in the Tower of London. In addition to the United States, Valentine's Day is celebrated in Canada, Mexico, the United Kingdom, France, and Australia. By the middle of the 18th century, it was common for friends, 
and lovers of all social classes to exchange small tokens of affection or handwritten notes. By 1900 AD, printed cards began to replace written letters due to improvements in printing technology and since pre-written cards were an easy way for people to express their emotions. Today, we know Valentine's Day as the day we celebrate those we love by giving them cards, flowers, and candy. How that ties into business is actually quite obvious. As we learned about the origins of the legend of St. Valentine himself, we also learned that savvy business owners saw a need for pre-written cards and filled it. Someone created a great business by making Valentine's Day cards for people to buy at a time when people hand wrote their Valentine's cards and may have struggled to express what they wanted to say. Have you ever come across the perfect holiday greeting card for Valentine's Day or any other that just caught your eye or stood out from the rest? Someone's creative idea was put to paper, pun intended, and created a lucrative business. The compound effect of creating tens of thousands of greeting cards for each holiday, for each occasion, for everyone in your family creates massive profits. The same goes for candy companies, chocolate companies, and florists. What big idea do you have regarding holidays or celebrations? We wanted to share with you how we reached out to people this Valentine's Day and find out what their favorite memories or photos were. Here are some of the submissions that stand out. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please press like and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, you can follow us on our other social media accounts. So have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.